Hello again, whiskey friends. Welcome back to the Whiskey Riff Lounge. My name's Kelsey. Hey, we're gonna jump into some Michter's Barrel Strength Rye. Now this, I know that Darrell's reviewing the same bottle, so it'll be interesting to see the different takes on this. But let's go ahead and get to the quick review for you. Thanks you guys so much for all your support. All right, guys, welcome back. So again, we are going to be jumping into some Michter's Barrel Strength Rye today. Now this is at 109.6, at least my batches. Um, so a shout out to my buddy Ty, who let me borrow his bottle to do this review. Uh, fresh crack this thing. So let's get into the nose uh, in just a second. But as we go through this, I did score this, and I'll, tell, I'll go kind of through that score system in just a minute. But I wanted to say up front, that I typically love Michter's rides. It's they're typically sweet and it's just it's a really good experience. So let's see if it's worth the value. That's that's the big part for most people is the value of this bottle. Is it worth the 165 to 195? Let's check it out. Cheers, whiskey friends. Okay, this has been sitting out about 20 to 25 minutes. The longer it sits, the sweeter it gets. Um getting lots of uh Caramel right up front. I mean, lots and lots. Uh, a little bit of barrel char notes coming through on the oak. Um, and then the sweetness of the caramel is also accentuated with a, just a little bit hint of the star of anise uh, licorice note that I kind of get, which I think is more of the rye spice. A little bit of spearmint, but not, not a lot. Um, so let's go in for the taste. Let's see how this thing stacks up. Cheers. So up front, real sweet. Um, caramel, um, is the main like component that I get up front. There's a little bit of that oak up front, but not much. Um, not really any rye spice up front per se off of the first sip. One thing that I like about Michter's though is that it's super easy to and approachable to drink. I love the regular, like straight rye that's uh, you know on the shelf, but uh, to me, the my favorite that they do is the toasted barrel strength rye. So they take this and they toast it. It's oh man, it's like a s'mores uh, candy. It's so good. Um, but on this one, first sip up front impression wise was just real sweet. Then it kind of moves mid palate. I do like the consistency of the mouthfeel. Uh, it's got a really not creamy mouthfeel to it. So let's go in for a second sip and see how consistent this stays. Cheers, whiskey friends. Okay, let's talk about the mid palate. So it does coat pretty well. I will say that on the second sip, the mid palate kind of explodes with more of that oak and of the rye spice that's coming through the the peppery notes or as like I call it the tingling in my tongue um, is getting right in the center of your tongue and mid palate. So overall pretty consistent from sip one and two. Let's go in for the, the final sip and let's look at this finish and see how it stacks up. So on this finish. It's medium. I would say that it probably goes into more of that oak note, uh, mid to late palate. And then it finishes with that, that continued sweet oak. There's nothing off putting about this oak profile at all. If, uh, you don't like oaky rise or like a lot of oak on your whiskey, you're going to like this. Now, I think the biggest stigmatism for this bottle will be the cost. So I think this good ranges anywhere from like one, I think the cheapest I've ever seen it was be like 145 and that may have been last year, but 165 to 195 typically is where I see these uh, retail wise. So the question is, is it worth it? Um, we'll get to that in just a second. I want to kind of walk through, you know, we did the front of the palette, the mid palette and the finish. 
uh, Jeff has us do all these spreadsheets because he's a, a numbers guy for every bottle that we rank. So this rated at an 82 out of 100. Uh, overall, I think it was the palette that stood out the most. Um, the, the nose was really nice. It's really sweet, but there's not a lot of depth to it. Now we'll say the palette doesn't truly match up to that. It actually is a, is a little bit more bold with the palette. Um, you get the sweetness up front, the rye spice and the oak in the middle, and then it finishing with that oak. So overall, really good score, but is it worth it? So let's get into that. So barrel strength rye is non-age stated. We don't know how old it is. We don't know where it comes from because Michter sources uh, their whiskey and we don't know if that's being sourced or if it's their stuff. I, I don't know, to be honest with you, if anybody really knows the truth. Um, I'd be interested if you guys know for sure if I've heard anything because I have heard anything since I got into whiskey about where they're sourcing their stuff from. Um, I would tend to think that it's going to be somewhere closer to Indiana, just the proof point uh, of this rye being at like 109 and they're typically, or they're going in at a lower proof on their rye and their whiskeys. Uh, either way, um, we really don't know, but going back to the price point, so you're looking at a non-age stated rye, um, 109 proof, it drinks really well, it's approachable, um, but the thing I would say about this particular bottle is for me, value-wise, I think I would rather lean towards the Jack. Now, Jack barrel proof picks, I can find these for like 75 to 80 bucks. And so you're looking at half, less than half the price and those things can be absolute hitters. Most of them have really bold profiles. So if you like that type of a profile, it's still sweet, but it's not overly rye. Neither is this, but for the comparison of the value, in my opinion, again, this is my opinion. We'll see what Darrell thinks about this too, because I know he's reviewing it, but, um, I, it's first Michter's bottle and you're, that's the one that you found great. Get it. If you're a Michter's fan and you've got several bottles you want to compare it to, absolutely, I think it's worth a buy. If you're a first time, um, you know, really want to find a good value for what you're getting, I would go with the JD Rye, Hard Truth, all of those cat strength ryes that in my opinion are um, a better experience overall for your value. So with that being said, guys, this was my quick review of the Barrel Strength Rye. We want to thank you all of our patrons for all the support, but also to you guys who are watching, make sure you click and subscribe if you're not. It really helps the channel. And tell me what you guys think in the comments. JD Rye or Michter's Barrel Strength Rye? What is your favorite and why? And let's, uh, I may do a comparison again on another video after this opens up a little bit and Ty lets me drink a little bit more of his bottle. We'll see. But anyway, thank you guys for hanging out and we'll see you soon. Jeff. Just be friends with me, but you have these whiskey friends, and you say hello again, oh Jeffrey, you should just be friends with me, but you have these whiskey friends, and you say hello again, oh Jeffrey, you should just be friends with me, but you have these whiskey